Hello everyone. I my name is Anisha Jain from PYP 2B Pathways World School Ravi. I am from India, Gurugram, and I am delighted to be part of the GEMA World Storytelling Competition. Today I am going to tell you the tale of the Princess and the Pea. Once upon a time, there was a young prince who wanted to get married. He searched and searched and searched, but alas, he met no girl whom he really liked. Each girl he met had something missing in them. One stormy night, after the prince came back home, he and his family were having their dinner. When suddenly there was a commotion outside the castle door, the queen went to see what was going on. When she got there, she was surprised to see a young girl drenched from head to toe. "Who are you?" she asked. The princess replied, "I am a princess, your majesty. I was passing through when the storm and lightning scared the horses, and they dragged my carriage into slush and mud. I walked have I have walked many miles to reach here for shelter," she said. The queen looked at the princess. She didn't look anything like a princess, with her hair drenched, her clothes wet and very torn, and her boots with full of mud. She looked like a poor peasant girl. But even though she didn't look like one princess, the queen allowed her to stay anyways because she was giving a chance to her. You are uh, you are allowed to stay here, O、oh、princess," said the queen. "My maids will prepare a royal room and a bath for you, and they will make it royally comfy," she said. Then she sh- showed the princess to the maids, and then she returned to the dining table. Ah,、uh, then she informed her family about the stranger at the door. "Mother, do you really think she is a princess?" asked the prince. Her appearance betrays her, but her eyes sparkle with courage, just like as though as a real princess. Saying so, the queen left and went to see the room which was being prepared for the princess. When she got there, she 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 said to the ask the maid, "Where is the princess?" The maid replied that she was in the bath and they were preparing her bed for her. At that, the pr- queen said, "For the bed, I want." The twenty of the most comfiest and softest mattresses the castle has to offer," said the queen. The maids nodded and went to get those mattresses. When the queen saw that no maid was left, she took a small pea from her pocket. Then she placed it under the mattress, which was already put on on the bed. Her job was done, and she went to her own room to sleep. That night, the princess slept in her comfy bed. Although, except for the pea, since she was so sensitive, being a princess, her she was poked and hurt, and she couldn't find a suitable way to sleep. The next morning, she was groaning and was very tired. When she got there at the table, the queen asked how she slept. Then the princess replied, "I, I don't. Sorry, my highness, I don't want to act as a rude princess." But there was something poking me all night, and I couldn't sleep. It it was something at the middle of my mattresses. The queen smiled. She knew that the girl in front of her was a real princess. Then she said, "Only a true princess could fill one little pea under twenty mattresses." When she finished, the her son joined the table. Then she told him. That she was the one he was looking for. They both looked at each other and smiled. Then they lived happily ever after. The end. Hope you enjoyed my story. And the moral of it is never judge somebody by their looks. Just as the queen let the princess stay, even though she looked like a peasant girl. Thank you.